Grapevine trunk disease is a, is a long-term challenge for the industry. The long and short is that between when vines are infected, um, there's a latent period and then the vines end up dying. We don't really see the manifesting of the disease till about 15 years of age. The New Zealand industry is about to hit a, a bit of a peak in terms of replanting because there was obviously the boom of the, the early 2000s. So a lot of those vines are getting into their early 20s. This is where trunk disease is starting to really cause economic issues. So if everyone was trying to replant their, their blocks at the same time, there wouldn't be enough vines to supply. The remedial surgery is essentially a process to cut the vines off as low as we can above the graft and attempt to eliminate as much of that disease part of the vine as possible. So then what's left is healthy and can regrow and restore the productivity and profitability of the vineyard. So we come out each spring and we're here today to do the water shoot and recovery assessments as well as the disease assessments. And so these are assessing the vines for disease in the canopy before we remediate them. Spores can and enter through these and then they travel down through towards the ground, through the trunk. And you can see this kanky here they've left behind as they're moving down. You know, the data is data that's never been seen before in the world. Simple things like the difference between winter and spring cuts are making very little difference in the fact that the pathogens um, have moved further down the trunks than we would expect. So it's actually teaching us that it's, it's quite complex what's going on in the trunk and the best management strategy is just to go as low as you can with your cut. The project involves three different varieties, many thousands of vines, and so then each year over a five year period we are doing remedial surgery on the vines, different treatments each year. We do inspections, assessments, dissect those trunks, and we also look at diagnostics to see what pathogens are present and what part of the trunk those pathogens are present. If we can perform the remedial surgery and get a new healthy canopy, what we still yet to understand fully is how long that vine will last afterwards, so whether this is actually an economically viable option long term to, to remediate the vines and come back to production. Although this project runs for five years, the, the vines will be long lasting and so by, by following these uh, commercial vineyards in five or ten years time we're going to have the ability to go back and have a look at the long term result of some of this work. So if we can help growers decide which blocks to target that will have a better outcome.